In this demo of Video Tool Chest, I'm gonna take a look at the GIF compressor tool. Now, there's no shortage of GIF creation tools and GIF animations on the internet. And I'm here on Jiffy, which is a site that you can download the GIF animations. I've actually downloaded a couple of them. But it's very easy. I can click on this funny little boy here and click on download and so forth and get these. I downloaded some of these already. And I wanted to just kind of show how easy it is. Now these are just, again, publicly available ones, but it's just because they're so easy to create now. Uh, but if you look at the info on this particular one here, it's a funny animation for steaming mad, but it's 4.7 megabytes, which is ridiculously big. It takes far too long to download uh, than it needs to, um, as I'll show you in a second. So this one here of a funny dance animation is uh, 4.7 megabytes. So <laughs> what I want to show you is that you know you can easily get these down to about a megabyte and have the same impact and you know get the same kind of thing that you need out of it. That's what GIF compressor really is about. It's that there's some very simple things that you can do. I've always known about them with other programs, but it's been hard for me to recommend programs that do this because the only one that I knew of was any good was a 20 year old program that's available only on Windows. So I uh, wanted to go ahead and solve that problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and import the Steaming Mad one here, for example. And one thing that's kind of nice is that we show you the dimensions. So it's 478 by 318. I can click on these corners and drag. And one thing that I would do, because I know that if I reduce any of the stage size, I'm going to get a faster downloading animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little off each side. So I'm down to like 40. Let's do, I don't want to be, I don't need to be perfect. And then I'm going to take a, just a little bit off of the bottom. Okay, so remember, this was a 4.6 megabyte file. I'm not going to do anything else than that. I'm going to crop and save it. And just to show you what kind of saving just that will do, I'm going to go ahead and preview it. And I'm down to 2.1 megabytes from 4.6. Now, I want to be fair, there's another GIF, GIF compression option that kind of happens automatically, and that's called interframe transparency or lossy. And it, but it really doesn't take effect in this animation very much. The, the frames, if there's no difference between the frames, then we can make them transparent where there's no difference from frame to frame. But this animation, as you'll see, as zooms in, it's completely different than it is when it starts. And so we're not getting a ton of that. But this, that's, that's a compression that happens automatically. But the majority of the savings I just got was from just cropping. So 2.1 megabytes already. That's, I mean, you know, over half the size. Now, I know what I would do is we have the ability to resize, reduce a number of frames, reduce a number of colors, and the dithering option is really kind of to uh, kind of adjust for the number of colors. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But I happen to know that if I went down to something like 75%, so let me just make a point here. If I went to 50%, I wouldn't be getting a 50% reduction in file size or, or speed of download. It would actually be 75% because I'm taking 50% off the width and the height. Going to 75% gives me something closer to, not, not exactly 50, but probably something like 40% improvement of download speed, not just 25%. And I'm going to go ahead and take a frame or two off. And what happens is that with the eight remaining frames, they sort of take up that second the remaining frames are kind of extended in their duration slightly to make up for taking two away. And then I can reduce this, say, I'm gonna try like 200 or so colors. And if I do that, let's see what I get out of that. So I'm, I'm at one megabyte, boom, I'm ready to go. And it took me longer to articulate that than it would actually to actually do the, the compression. Now I happen to also know that if it was me, I would look at this animation and go, do I really need these first couple of frames where she's, before she blows her stack? And I wouldn't. I would go ahead and take a few of these off because the essential thing is her blowing her steam. And so if I do that, remove a, trim off a few frames, I get it down even further. So that's what I would do. And then I would export this GIF and then deliver it. And because even though I reduced it by 75% uh, and cropped a little bit, the essential animation, the effect, remains pretty much the same. And I get a animation that does the same job, but is delivered far faster. So uh, that's pretty much what you would do. Now I wanna point out what this dithering option is. We'll just, just close this drawer and we'll open it again. 
see this dance one real quick, and I'm just gonna skip ahead to the cropping section there. And I'm gonna come down to something like 200 colors. Now if you, if I actually, let me go back to all the colors. Well, if I play the animation, you'll see that it's kind of dithery right here uh, and so forth. But if I decide to take some colors off, okay, and then I do a preview, it's gonna be pretty blotchy in these spots right here because basically it's, it's that's what happens when you do that. I reduce the number of colors. I have mostly the same animation and if you're really just focusing on the dancers then it's not so bad but the but dithering allows you to sort of accommodate for that. So I happen to know that the Floyd Steinberg is a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that again. And now the animation will be, it won't be as just distracting in those blotchy areas and you can really go ahead and just focus on the funny guys dancing there. So that's what the dithering does. And it, it did bring up the file size, I don't know if you noticed before, but it, not so much that it's not worth it go, to go ahead and prove the visual quality of the GIF animation. So that's the GIF compressor and really when you're using it, you know, you can just pop in, make these adjustments super fast and export and you, what you're going to save is, you know, taking a minute to do this is going to get your GIF animations delivered to the viewers and get decrease the number of people who are going to go ahead and scroll past it before they get a chance to see it. So I hope you get a lot of value out of Video Tool Chest in the next video demo. We'll take a look at photo to video effects.